Hey guys, it's Ashley Camber and I'm back to talk about home organizing. In this video, we are going to be covering storage room organization. Only this time, I'm going to take the second part of our storage room and my husband and I will convert it into a home gym. Are you ready? Let's do this. I'll be up in the gym, just working on my fitness. He's my witness. probably admit I don't exactly work out, but new year, new you, right? This is actually January 2nd, so I'm ready for it. Now let's do this. Most important from the start, we needed a clear focus for our home gym project. The purpose for our workout space was obvious, but we needed to ensure we had cast a clear shared vision. We wanted to segregate our workout equipment from our long-term storage items so that never the two shall meet again. Further, we had two new boxes of equipment to set up, so we needed to plan for it to occupy more space. I remind myself, be mindful about whether what you see is something your ideal self would love or your real self may underutilize. In order to have a dedicated location for functional family workouts with versatile products, we decided to set up our home gym on the opposite side of the storage room. In between the two storage areas is our recently constructed finished basement, including a guest bathroom that juts back into the unfinished area, causing a narrow opening on that end. This meant we were presented with a big challenge. We needed to move all equipment from A to B and B to A without being able to pass straight through the unfinished basement. In other words, we had to swap all items from one side to the other by traipsing it through the finished space full of its own obstacles. For example, we had to temporarily place some of our belongings in the finished main area so we'd have room to maneuver in the unfinished areas. We had to avoid scraping the white walls, door frames, and plank flooring, the newel post at the base of the staircase, the marble wrapped around the fireplace, etc. The treadmill was so cumbersome that despite our best efforts, it got all scraped up on the marble fireplace. While we may have been able to wrap it in moving blankets, there was little else we could have done to prevent this sad mishap because we had to lay the treadmill on its side, shift the front end into the theater room, then swing the back end forward to somehow slink the whole contraption down the hallway. I'm tired just thinking about it again. When we become more intentional with our homes, we become more intentional with our lives. Now, while I challenge you to consciously choose to create the life you want, I also know it's not as easy as creating a dedicated home gym and setting fitness goals. There's actual work to do in and out of the workout room. No Peloton required. Find the right space. If you've identified a hobby space in your home that may double as a workout area, ask yourself what needs to happen for this space to serve you well. For example, I could tell the dark basement corner behind the punching bag wasn't conducive to a relaxing yoga slash meditation haven. I chose to move my yoga gear to my bedroom where I have tons of natural daylight, carpeted floor space, control the aroma, etc. Once we knew we wanted to move our home gym, we cleared out the area and moved the storage items from their former location to the place they will reside for now. I say for now because I intend to whittle down my childhood and school memorabilia. Best intentions. After that, we could properly plan and decide where to set up our fitness equipment. As for placing the workout equipment, free weights, and dumbbells, I knew my husband would have an ideal plan. I outsourced the floor plan to him, but asked for the final say. Conveniently, we both agreed this was a logical layout. Clearly, this is not a space for my son to try out parkour training, for my ballerina to practice her craft, etc. Though I had really high hopes for she and me to follow online bar sessions when I asked my husband to install our former stair railing on the wall in our initial workout area two years ago. Yes, you heard that right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I do this? Yeah. Oh, that's. You can rest your arms. Oh, that's easy. Once you plan your fitness goals and routines, you can narrow down the workout tools and products you need. Get rubber flooring. 
Starting from the bottom, if you plan on having free weights in your gym, it's important to avoid damaging your home unless you have an unfinished basement area. To avoid damage, get rubber flooring for these areas. This will not only protect the ground, but will also reduce the amount of noise. You can also get mats to go under other exercise equipment. We found these interlocking foam squares on Amazon and they've held up well for years. I'll link to our favorite home gym products in the description. As an unorthodox choice, I found this linoleum when we were picking out carpet for our home theater my husband built for us. It's just on the hall from our home gym, and if you're interested, I have a separate video on how to create a home theater. Anyway, a couple years ago, I surprised my hubs with the invite to devote a section of the basement for his workouts. I presented the idea showing him the floor space I had cleared, kind of a big deal for a stuff collector like me, and the linoleum splayed out on the concrete floor. He was eager to take me up on it, so we took carpet remnants from the home theater and placed them on the cement, then laid the pre-cut linoleum scrap over top of it to make a padded area. It worked well enough that we transferred it to the new workout space. I'm not saying this jigsaw puzzle is the coolest look, I'm just saying we're using what we have, and it works well for us. Then we grabbed another carpet remnant to place at the front entrance, and we were good. Use the wall for storage. Moving up to the walls, Plan vertical storage options for things like jump ropes, resistance bands, and the like. Hang a clock plus motivational decor. Another addition to the wall that can help with workouts is a clock. A clock can help in several ways. For one, you can keep track of time so that you don't get lost in your workout. Also, it's great for your home gym wall because you can refer to the time when you take a rest in between sets or you do a timed exercise such as planks. Ryan was so pleased when I encouraged him to mount his Steelers clock and other fan gear around the room. He wasted no time and identified great spots to hang the decor. So if you're looking for something else to add to your home gym wall, consider decor that motivates you. You can even get decals for motivation. Source multi-purpose equipment and tools. An additional way to maximize the space in a home gym is to take advantage of multi-purpose equipment. Wanting a pull-up bar, Ryan had this pull-up rack on his Christmas wish list. The black and yellow colors are perfectly suited for this hardcore Steelers fan. And because he can adjust the racks, he can get far more out of the equipment without worrying about taking up too much room in a limited space. As you come in, you're going to see the Nordic track is upright. I guess that's just the way it's going to be because this is what fits best for us given that we have new equipment to put in here. And so you can kind of see where we're at at the moment. In the future, we may incorporate more tools, but for now, less is more, especially since we don't want to overcrowd our workout area. My, it sounds like I really have been strengthening my organizing muscles. Which brings up a great point. Do you have the right amount of workout gear or is your fitness area being taken over by other hobbies and interests? Unless you are a recovering hoarder, you probably don't need me to remind you that you can't just move your things to solve the issue. Oftentimes you need to pare down your belongings to make space for how you intend to utilize the room. If you're relocating workout equipment you already have, what else needs to change for you to do the activity or utilize your tools more regularly? Stay organized. Make sure you keep your personal gym organized so that you can easily find the equipment you need, but also so you don't have weights and plates lying around. This means getting dumbbell racks and other things to corral your tools. Milan and I were eager to unbox some workout tools I've had for years. They weren't doing me any good in the packages and now we have a devoted room to organize them for easy access. I try to remember the container concept and truly envision only having the things we want in this container. Staying on top of the possessions in our devoted space will improve the overall aesthetic of our home gym. Again, these words coming out of my mouth right now are very new to me. And if you were to watch any of my prior videos from a ways back, you will know that I have really come a long ways in recent years. Okay, like recent months and days. But still, progress is progress, right? Of course, a fitness room should be designed to help achieve your goals and suit your individual needs. Just like the yoga and meditation haven I wanted to create, I've needed a way to get computer work done, so I bought a desk bike I could use on the main level of my home. 
Our last step before calling the job done for now is my brother-in-law kindly helped Ryan move his punching bag from room A to B. At first glance, it's obvious this is an unfinished basement and not a lifetime fitness, but I like the industrial vibe. Large mirrors would make the space look more polished, so we may add mirrors at one point. I'd probably leave the left side bare to keep the vibe though. But if the mirrors want to make me look more fit than I am, I am cool with that optical illusion too. Anyway, back down to our home gym to take a look back at where we started. As you come in, you're going to see that we have existing storage. This is all going to be streamlined. I'm going to make sense of everything, but really we're just working our way through. At the present, I have all of the holiday decor over here and I am going to uh, work my way through some of these like the memorabilia and personal items and then coming on over got another bin of memorabilia the um, clothing that I want to temporarily store away from my closet my wedding dress um, that is a lamp from when I was a baby is that a zoom so yeah, my nursery when I was a baby. And my mom hand painted the whole thing. All right. Speaking of my mom, I was able to glean a lot of my childhood stuff um, <laughs> from my mom and my dad's house. So I have a lot of that. I will say I've had that for a while. Had it in our previous home too but now I'm gonna make more sense of things. On top, we have our kids' clothing. I'm going to be going through that again. Um, room to grow, just kidding. I have a lot of totes to go up there. And so these are miscellaneous bins that I need to go through. Back over here, again, the bottom two rows are things that I want to go through, things that I am ready to part with but i just needed to get them up and off the floor and then work on things one-on-one -on -one, uh one by one i do not want to get overwhelmed no punching bag in the storage area it will be moved to the workout area and then we're trying to keep um things that are going to be less often accessed at the top ryan put the coolers over here until we have another plan and again more things for me to go through holy biscuits here is our new home gym from the entryway Recap. After determining the ideal location and layout of our home gym, we laid down flooring options, installed all the equipment, made use of the walls, ensured we had Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features. Next, we will plan out our wall storage for things like jump ropes, resistance bands, etc., and we'll consider adding large mirrors. Now it's time I go do some bench dips to retain any arm strength I may still have after underutilizing my upper body. I will be pumping the least amount of iron. I plan on using my laptop, as you can already see. Not the most intense workout. Perhaps you want to do an upper body stability challenge while you watch my next video? And go!